All right, guys, welcome to a new video. This is a 2004 Articat DVX 400. Um, a subscriber actually brought this quad in. He was riding it. He said that it was running good, no problems whatsoever. And all of a sudden he heard a big clank. The engine shut off and then he tried to start back up again and the one way bearing slipping now. So when he tried to start it, this is what happens. You can see it's not grabbing at all. Or it is, and there's like zero compression. So one of the two. And uh, then, if you put it in gear, there's, there's not much compression. Because you can just push it right in gear. So, it's definitely low on compression as well. So those are the two issues, and there's probably a lot more. So we're gonna try to figure that out today, what's causing this problem. I'm guessing a bent valve or a hole in the piston. That's my guess. Not too sure, haven't looked into it yet, so it should be interesting. But we do have the one-way bearing for it right here. Ordered that up for it already, so. If we get this thing all torn apart and it's something like a valve that's stuck open, we can attempt to start it and put this guy in. So first things first, let's probably tear it down and uh, check compression, see what that's at, and then probably fix the one-way bearing and go from there. And from what I could tell on this quad, it looks like it's pretty much bone stock, um, at least the engine is. So I don't think there's any modifications to the engine or anything. I believe the cam stock, everything stock. The only thing I can see is the manual tensioner that's on it. So I don't know if that was causing problems or uh, what, but um, I guess we'll figure it out. Ooh, looks like she was running pretty lean. Look how white that tip is. That's not a good sign. That means it could be the piston. It's blown up. Not good. Alright, you guys can watch the gauge here. You guys can see that in the corner. And you'll see me push the button up here. And we'll see if that gauge moves at all. So take a look down here in the corner. There we go, this will tell us if it's moving. It doesn't sound like it. sound like that thing's moving. All right, we're back here. So we're just gonna take off this whole mechanism. Let's see what's going on with that one-way bearing. Got that whole thing. And you have to take that thing off because there's a bolt right there for the cover. And there's definitely oil underneath the cover because I can see it dripping out already. Oh, 
loosen her up a little bit. Sometimes a starter gets stuck in there. There we go. Let's see the damage here. Ooh, something fell out. That's not good. Well, the stator looks fine. I think. Looking at the stator, that looks fine. Flywheel. A little chopped up. What fell out? Something fell out. Oh. Did that? I think that thing fell out of here. That's weird. Why would that be in there? What the heck is that thing? It's like something for a throttle cable. <laughs> what the heck? That's really odd. I thought that would fall out of there. Let's see the one-way bearing behind here. That feels good still. The only thing I can think of is that the... Let's see, I'm going to twist over the flywheel and then see if the piston's moving up and down. Alright, so it does look like the piston is moving up and down when you do spin this. So I'm not really sure. We're going to put it back together and look down the cylinder while I'm doing it just to make sure that it is spinning up and down. But I think it's zero compression. All right, so we got the cover back on and I was looking down the spark plug hole with a flashlight and the piston is going up and down. So the one-way bearing's fine. It sounds like it's not even doing anything, but it is. So the piston's moving up and down. That means there's like absolutely zero compression. We did the compression test. The gauge didn't move at all. So that's a really bad sign. So since we've got zero compression, it's got to be something either with the valves or the piston or the cylinder or the rings. So typically when it has zero compression, that means a valve is stuck open so or bent. Um, so let's start digging into it and see what we find. All right, we're gonna get the valve cover off right here, carburetor out, pipe off, cool and drain, and then we can take the head off and see what the damage is. I really don't like this design where the plastics come off as one big piece. Kinda makes it difficult. Now we can see what's going on here. All right, we've got carburetor cable in the way, clutch cable in the way, spark plug cable in the way. Hmm. <laughs>
Ah, oh, yeah, we got her. There's the valve cover. Ooh, timing chain's really tight on this sucker. Like a little too tight. Check out the timing chain. It's like rock solid. That's so tight. Thing is extremely tight. Alright, I don't see anything broken inside yet. Alright, this bolt was stripped, that bolt was missing. Um, these were fine over here. But you can see it's labeled in EX exhaust intake. Take these guys out. I mean, look how loose the cam chain is without the tensioner. Should not be that loose. That's like extremely loose. Cam looks good, intake cam. Cam here. So this thing has a little mechanism in here for decompression. Looks like that's working. So, looking at the valves here, look how much higher this one sits up than the rest of them. See, that's like a centimeter of clearance right there, compared to that one. Then compared to that one, compared to that one. There's a little damage right here, it looks like something was hitting. But other than that, it looks good, the head looks good. Um, but this one is sitting up a lot higher, so I have a feeling that this one is the bent valve. Just a feeling. At least have washers on it. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, there's that chain thing in there. Let's 
see what the damage is here. Ouch, sharp. Alright. Holy cow. That is crazy. You're not going to believe the damage on this thing. So, a cylinder and piston are miraculously fine. I don't know how that happened. But the piston and cylinder are fine. The piston and cylinder are fine in there. No dents or anything. No scratches on the cylinder wall. I do not know how this happened because, check this out. This is insane. I've never seen this happen before. I don't know what would have caused this, but look at every single valve is bent. <laughs> what the heck? That's insane. Here, but that is really bad. Look at that, you can see right through there. In every single one of them. What would have caused that? Look at those are open as well. <laughs> what in the world? So it must have like skipped time or something. That's the only thing I can think of is a skip time and then crunch those valves. Because the timing chain was really, really loose. Because the timing chain is really, really stretched. But, however, it was super tight on there, so I don't know how it would have skipped time. The only other thing I could think of is the Woodruff key. It snapped off, so. Let's see what happens when we take this cover off again and turn it to top dead center. We'll see if the piston's actually at top dead center and the top of the stroke right here. Alright, now we can check and see if it's at top dead center here. Center, there's the T in there. And the piston is at the very, very top of the stroke. And it went another 180. And uh, we're still good, so. I don't know what the heck would cause that to um, bend every single valve. <laughs> huh. Unless the crank bearing's bad. Which I guess we could take off the, the cylinder and check that as well. Alright, let's take off the cylinder, see if the crank's still good.
All right, well, the crank still feels fine. There's no up and down play, only a little bit of side to side on the crank, so that's good. At least the crank is okay. You can see just a little side to side play. No up and down, though. Piston looks pretty good. No damage whatsoever on the piston. So I'm not really sure why that would do that. <laughs> very, very odd. And here's what the cylinder looks like. I mean, that thing is perfect. A single scratch on that baby. So that looks good. Piston looks good, cylinder looks good, crank looks good. So those are the main things. Alright, taking a close look at the valves here. They're all bent. You can see there's a little wear right there, right there, right there, and right there. It almost looks like it was maybe hit right there. Kind of see. A little bit of wear. And there's a, like a little mark right there. Right there. So I'm not sure if the... I mean, the piston had to have come in contact with it and bent these valves. It's just, I don't know how. You can see the little shim in there. So we'll get the valve compressor get these valves out and check those out bent that is. <laughs> so crazy. Alright, we got all the valves out. As you can see, the valve seats and everything look really good. So there's really no damage anywhere. Which is good. But the valves are just completely bent. Look at that. That's flat on the surface. Look at that thing. I'll put these in the drill to show you guys how bent they are, but they're extremely bent. That's the first one. Here's the second one. This is an intake valve. See how bent that one is. Really, really bent. Another intake. Look how bent that one is. <laughs> it's crazy. And then we'll do the last exhaust valve. It's almost 
at like a 45 degree angle. <laughs> so they're all completely bent. I'm thinking it had to be timing. That's the only thing I could think of because the Woodruff key didn't slip and the crank is good. So um, we're going to replace the cam chain as well because that was pretty loose after I took the tensioner off. And the tensioner was really, really far in. That's how far in it was. I didn't touch that. So I'm guessing that cam chain maybe skipped a tooth at one point and then somebody put the manual cam chain tensioner in there. You know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really positive, but that's my guess. So anyway, we're going to order up some new valves for this thing, replace it, and hopefully we can get this thing to run again. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little mystery tear down. We didn't know why it didn't have a compression, but uh, now we know. Valves are the cheapest thing to replace, so um, we got very, very lucky there. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay tuned for next video when we rebuild this thing, and until next time, we are out.